Radio. Hello there again, my fellow viewers. Today I wanted to explain to you how exactly I build my mouse keyboard thing, so let's just get right into the engineering, so called at least. At first, you'll need a mouse, of course. Technically, any will do, but preferably one with higher refresh rate so your response time will be lower, cause, uh, you know, this is also and here we want as low input lag as possible, said the guy who plays on a laptop, huh? Second step is disassembly. Here you just tear your mouse apart and see how much space will it need to be placed in some sort of case. Also, here you can put some upgrades to it like LEDs and stuff. Your next step is composition where you put everything together and see how will this look as a whole thing. When you get all the steps done, next could be kinda tricky, cause apart from the need of finding keycaps or something that you'll use like once, you'll need to figure out how to keep them in place and on this step we'll go a little deeper. Since mouse switches are not designed to be used like what we want them to, We'll have to turn our imagination up and design something. My first design was really dumb but simple. I just took a long Lego piece, taped it over the buttons and used it like this for some time. We can call it an alpha version of what was yet to come. Next I used real keycaps. Luckily I had a mechanical keyboard before, so I took some from it. But there was no way I could attach them to the mouse and here I needed to figure something out. So I made myself a cup of tea, sat down, relaxed and started thinking. Really soon my mind came up with the next idea. I needed something flexible but with an ability to hold keys into axes. So I used wires. And more Lego. And more double-sided tape. Like, come on, you even can't take this so-called guide seriously, guys. Cause I just looked over a bunch of crap and was like, hey! I'm gonna make something with it, cause why not? But okay, anyway, I'll finish this. Decisions were made, keycaps prepared, and glue gun ready. Last step is the final assembly. So here I'll just insert a video fragment where I'm doing this. So this is it, hope you all enjoyed this video, and if so, consider subscribing, comment about what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be about my Osu Keyboard 2.0, uh, where I use real uh, keyboard switches, which are MX Silvers, by the way, so it should be decent keyboard. So. See you guys in the next one. Yeet.